aren't very many female executives in gaming. I'm really pleased to have done it. I'm hopefully it opens up the doors for others. Um, you know, I still find myself saying, you know, what would a man do? Um, you in, do? In some scenarios. Yeah, because I think we as a gender believe that we should be rewarded for what we do. Um, and our rewards will come based on, you know, how we've, how, how we've handled ourselves and the success and, you know, we get what we deserve. Um, and the real world doesn't work that way. You really do have to take it and you have to fight for it. And sometimes reminding myself about how to be a little bit more aggressive um, and how to ask beyond what I think is realistic um, has actually helped because I think we as women ask for what we think we deserve, not more so. I think men have a tactic to do that. And when I have followed that path, it's helped me. I moved to LA and I became a secretary at 20th Century Fox in the secretarial pool so I could learn the business. And it was a huge step back and nobody could understand it. But I really felt that I wanted to learn this business. And the people that I met when I was a secretary are still people I talk to now and still people I do business with. And I wouldn't trade that experience for anything in the world. And it afforded me an opportunity to see an insider's view of how the entire business works. So I always feel like every job I've ever had, I want to be able to learn something new. Because if you're doing the same old thing for so many years, you can't wake up and be passionate and excited about what you're doing. And I still wake up, you know, the earliest in my house. I'm up bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, <laughs> and excited to go to work. And you really have to have that passion to sustain.